Dr. Junaid Ahmed, Rita Teutia, Commerce Secretary, Dr. Sanjay Baru, Secretary General of FICI, ladies and gentlemen. Let me first thank the World Bank, the Ministry, and FICI for having invited me. And Sanjay, thank you for the trees. I've never actually visited the Sundarbans to find out whether these trees actually exist or not. <laughs> they if they do, I personally own not just a thicket but a forest. So if I may dare to suggest, since West Bengal is full of such thickets now, perhaps you should look for other states. I'm not very sure what there is for me to say. You've heard the minister, you've heard Junaid, you've heard Rita Teotia. The minister said right at the end that this must be taken to a logical conclusion. In this particular case, the logical conclusion, of course, means the logistical conclusion, which is what will happen post this opening session. So at this opening session, I can think of only two and a half points to make. But before I make those points, Junaid is absolutely right. For a country as large as India, a large part of the growth impetus will actually come from freeing up, unclogging trade within the country. Having said that, suppose we look at the external trade part of it. Clearly, in the economic growth story, net exports, or to keep it simple, exports have a major role to play. And one man says exports, in this particular context, all the exports of services are also important. One primarily means exports of goods. So, so far as exports of goods are concerned, what constrains or enables export performance? And conceptually, there are just three sets of factors. The first is the demand side. How is the global economy doing? How is global trade doing? But that's not what we are talking about here today. And yes, Sanjay, absolutely right. So far as that story is concerned, it was a better story a few months ago. Now there are some question marks. If not question marks, certainly exclamation marks. The second set of determinants of the export story is the exchange rate. Again, outside the purview of whatever we are discussing today. And the third set is supply side, which is what we are really talking about, the supply side improvements. And the minister, as well as the commerce secretary, have outlined several initiatives that the government has taken. Many of these initiatives are in the nature of transport, multimodal transport. These do not lead to improvements overnight, nor is it the case that you can neatly segregate cross-border movements from what happens in the hinterland. But these improvements happen over a period of time. Some of it, as the Commerce Secretary said, depends on what state governments are doing. So there's going to be a time lag. But somewhere down the line, all of this is bound to lead to improvements. But let me make my two and a half points. And this is where I want to bring in Sanjay's distinction of the hard with the soft. The first point is beyond the transport improvements. There is a litany of complaints about procedures. And the first point I want to make about procedures is that the procedural improvements will not be complete and accomplished unless there is a full-fledged GST. And Junaid mentioned GST in a slightly different context. Why am I saying this? 
and I am talking about exports of goods and imports of goods. If I am only going to export pure and simple, if I am going to only import pure and simple, procedures are not particularly complicated. Procedures become complicated because I have preferential import duties for reason X, Y, and Z. As long as those continue, procedures can only be simplified up to a point. We do not have export subsidies in the strict sense, but we have export incentives. And those export incentives also do not become transparent until we have a full-fledged GST which supplants and subsumes all the other indirect taxes. There might be a countervailing duty. Even the countervailing duty does not become fully transparent until we have a full-fledged GST. So that part of it Yes, there will be an incremental, there will be incremental improvements, but that part of the soft is contingent on a transition towards a complete GST, much more rationalized and harmonized with all products included as soon as is possible. It's a complicated business, therefore it's going to be work in progress and therefore it will take time. So that's the first point. The second point point is, India is largely an informal, unorganized economy. And this principle exists in every sector, the export sector included. There are several improvements that are possible, including in the area of procedures, if I have large-scale organized players. One of the reasons we have these problems is because there are too many fragmented players. To take a trivial example, trivial example, but nonetheless it illustrates it. If I have a fully loaded container, procedures will be simpler than when I have little bits and pieces that are going into loading that container. And again, let us accept that here also, several initiatives on the part of the government are meant to incentivize the transition from the informal and the unorganized to the formal and the organized. Here also, it's going to be work in progress. So those improvements will also take time incremental. What is the half a point? Those were the two points. What is the half a point? The half a point, I said half a point because Sanjay has sort of unnecessarily pre-announced it, not that that is the great secret. As the Economic Advisory Council to the Prime Minister, with the Prime Minister's approval, of course, we have decided to bring out a document which is meant to help the Commerce Ministry and is meant to help Vinay Kumar, who's sitting there, right? their center of attraction, documenting what other problems, which is easier to document in the logistics sector, and also suggest solutions, which is of course much more difficult to do. And that is why, as that body, with Dr. Jointa Roy from the World Bank and X economic advisor commerce ministry helping us we had these consultations recently with Fiki also and we will continue to have those consultations our document initially obviously is meant for the prime minister but sooner or later it will come into the public domain and then once it comes into the public domain i'm booking this venue well in advance and you can invite the same set of people thank you once again for having invited me <laughs>